Hola, this is White Manga here, and I'll be drawing manga comic hairstyles in 20 ways. Uh, but this will be the female version. A lot of you enjoyed the earlier version I did, but I only use my male characters. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, when I do the, the videos like this, I usually use characters from my book. I use them as models, and you can see it as like a market employee or whatever. But I use them as, as models and I uh, use them for tutorials and so, forth, so on and so forth. So in this video, I will be drawing, you know, hairstyles but females. And it will be my female characters, some of which who have not even debuted in the comic. Now, the name of the comic is Apple Black for those of you who do not know or are very new to the channel. And I'll leave links to that for you, you guys to go check out. Uh, the first three chapters are free to, you know, read online. I'll leave links to that on Saturday AM. And you can purchase volume one with the first nine chapters. Uh, I'll leave a link to that as well. You can get it on Amazon and there's a link. I'll leave all the links you possibly need to Apple Black in the links below. Okay, so for the first character here, um, I just wanted to do something similar to a Bob. You know, sort of a Lady Gaga inspired, vintage Lady Gaga inspired. And um, this is a character that does not uh, appear in a comic for a while. Like, I. I'm talking chapter. Most of these, most of these characters do not appear in a comic uh, for a while. So you know we have just a basic, basic bobbish hairstyle here. You know, blonde in, in color. Um, nothing too fancy. Hope it's easy. Has this very uh, simple curve at the top, and you know connects at the bottom, and everything is kind of uh, the well. You know, everything's kind of crisp and straightforward. Kind of gives you an idea of what kind of character she is. Very clean cut. And uh, sort of stern. Uh, we have another character here. She kind of has like a uh, I don't know what a, I don't I won't call it a bandana, but I want to do uh, the character here has a spiky hair. And by the way, when I do the, uh, when I do videos like this, I'm doing um, hair hair styles that are not too that you might not be too familiar with. It's hairstyles that are not that you don't see a lot in uh, female characters in manga and comics. Some of them might be familiar, but I'm pretty sure most of them are not. And these are pretty pretty original. Some of these hairstyles also, yes, they've been um, you know uh, inspired by a couple of designs, hairstyle designs that I've seen. Uh, but most of them are pretty pretty much you know straight straight out. Um, you know, took my time and try to come up with something original and not too. I tried to do thing. I tried to come up with hair designs that you probably haven't seen before. Some of them might be simple, but you know, most of them aren't. Uh, here we have another character, um, uh, Hane Shimojikoku, who, who uh, not to give anything away, I sort of have shown in the comic. Uh, sort of haven't. Uh, it's it's complicated. If you've read the comic, you know you kind of know what I'm talking about, especially if you've read uh, chapter two, I think. So, um, really basic here, and uh, the hair is kind of going to go back into you know, forming, not exactly a ponytail, it's more like, uh, if you read the comic, it kind of, they form, form these knots, and this, the, the knots symbolize uh, uh, royalty, in a way. And at first, when I was drawing it, I put the knots just kind of falling down on our sides, kind of like how I did uh, one of the male characters in the previous, in the other video, which I'll leave a link to. Uh, I'll leave an annotation somewhere in the, on the screen. Uh, I was allowing it fall to her shoulders, but I decided to, you know, do something different and allow it, all, all the all the knots to fall on one side. They just symbolize royalty in a way. Um, that's all they are. Uh, it's kind of like one of those things that will be very familiar in. Uh, um, Film familiar in my comic, where any most it's part of like the tradition in the comic. So most characters that are royalty will have knots somewhere. Some characters, uh, especially the younger ones, will have the knots on on like a sideburn. Uh, some will have it as a ponytail. Uh, and you know, I'll find, I'll keep finding creative ways to uh, insert the knot in their hair somehow. Yeah, we have a little simple character, and uh, sometimes when I'm uh, before I even draw the hair, I just kind of draw the hairline just to know where the hair is going to be growing and um, this is this is one of the simplest ones uh, one of the youngest characters that um, you know she she she's debuted this is Ari and uh, she actually debuted in chapter one but uh, I'm pretty sure no one saw it it was kind of like a, just a little just a little thing uh, she'll she'll become more important uh, as we get on because in the comic right now we're in uh, chapter 12 as we keep going moving forward she become um, 
I guess you get more screen time. You get to see her a whole lot more. Um, uh, and, you know, she just has a simple bun at the top. And I put two pins there. The pins are not really there, but just for this tutorial. Uh, well, I won't call this a tutorial. It's one of those observation, one of my observational videos as well. But I put the pins there just, you know, um, for this video alone. Here we have uh, another character that also hasn't debuted and probably wouldn't debut uh, for a while. And uh, again, very simple hairstyle, pretty black, uh, just black, shiny hair. Um, character is blind. And it's uh, pretty. Uh, and before I even go forward, before I even go on, I just want to say that uh, most of the designs and uh, character names and stuff like that, all of it is still subject to change. Like, it's probably not going to change if it's already debuted in the comic. But before they use character designs, hairstyles, names, all that, they are all you know subject to change. Most of them won't change. Most of most of them are, are final, but a couple of them are you know I'm still fooling around with. But just for the video, because I wanted to you know come up with the video, uh, I just have a name for the video. But some of them are final. Some of them aren't. Most of them are, uh, and you know. That's uh, just disclaimer. So let's say you see the character here, and later you see a character in a comic with a different name or a different hairstyle, or something like that. Don't be too surprised. Uh, here we have a simple, I, I did like a little, you know, cornrows by the side, and the hair just blows off and does its own thing. It's sort of dreadlocky, but not, 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 not really. Got a little uh, African American looking black young girl here. Not, not that she's African American. There is no. Africa or America in the comic. Uh, if you read the comic, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Uh, and, you know, there's also another character that doesn't show up uh, for a while. I think in the comic, uh, in the comic, not that many uh, female characters have debuted. I think, I think I've only shown like nine, uh, nine or I think, well, not nine, more like uh, maybe 12 that I, 12 of them and so they're not that many here we have uh, but for this video because I want to do 20 so I'm just like showing you guys ahead of time so most of them even the ones that are still in their design stage I'm just showing you anyways here we have Neon Neon who is one of the main characters of Apple Black and has definitely clearly debuted if you read the comic you've seen um, some of her and in, in volume 2 you will see a whole lot more of her um, this is one of those uh, character, character designs that I actually enjoy. Uh, sometimes the hair is kind of difficult to pull off. Uh, you can see me using the eraser a lot, uh, but I will eventually get it. I will. Uh, and it's like uh, it's like black hair with like pink highlights in, uh, in the front. Uh, those who are, if you're new to my character, I'm, that's, you know, I'm just uh, telling you what the colors are. A couple people who, you know, if you're not new to my channel, then you probably know uh, some of the colors of uh, the hair for the for the characters, the characters who have debuted, characters that I'm going to be drawing. So this is uh, Neon Mercury, and uh, I'll be drawing. Um, I'll be showing you her sister, Florine, and a couple more. After a couple more heads, so it's the seventh one, and for the for the eighth, we have another character who hasn't debuted again. Uh, just regular hair uh, for this I'm not sure what the uh, you know it's one of those things I haven't decided hair color uh, but if she's just heads up she's like one of those like from the facial expression I think you can kind of tell a little bit of what you know what kind of character she she's gonna be probably a little snobby but uh, pretty basic and she has like a hat which I will get to in a sec but you know very normal Pretty basic. This is like one of the simple hairstyles, because you know, a lot of people in anime try to give that. You know, with anime, you can get away with a lot of hair hair designs, you know, some ridiculous things. Um, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh, for example. Like, I don't understand. It looks like a crown, uh, but you know, you get away with it. Uh, but um, I, I don't have too many characters that that make you suspend your disbelief um, when, when you see their hairstyles. Some some hairstyles are pretty basic. Uh, here we have a uh, hairstyle that's kind of um, uh, Japanese inspired or well Chinese inspired it depends. Uh, geisha inspired. If you know what a geisha is, um, then you know what I mean. The character's hair is actually white, but for this video, I'm just gonna um, I'm going to shade it black just for this video. 
because uh, most geishas, when you look at them, you know, this black hair, you know, and most Japanese people have black hair. Um, again, it's one of those things where I'm not saying that there was, uh, for those of you who follow me or read the comic, you know what I, exactly what I mean. It's like the comic does not take place in Japan or anything like that. But there are parts of the comic that will be, you know, get some inspiration from Japan, like most others. Uh, but the comic also gets inspiration from a ton of other things. And the hair, you know, putting some little strokes there just to really give it that hair feel, I guess. And she has some earrings and masks. She's one of those, she's one of those uh, you know, mysterious characters. Uh, clearly, if you can guess, she's probably not a protagonist. She's one of the villains. But um, again, a character we don't see for a long, uh, for a long time. Uh, here is a character we have seen. Uh, this is... Um, Madame Naomi, and it's one of my one of my favorite character designs. Actually, uh, decided to come up with one of the coolest old ladies that I could ever come up with. Um, the hairstyle is kind of like a three. I don't know what to call it. it looks like a three sister, three sister cards. Um, but um, it's white hair, old age. It's like one of those um, old ladies that still feels. Uh, young and stuff like that. She has an eye patch. Eye patch with a story. Again, it's one of those things where when I design characters, I usually don't give out eye patches or scars if they if there isn't a story behind them uh, to like advance the character or advance the story in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so yeah, we have a uh, we had uh, Naomi. And this is the tenth, and we will be moving on to another of my favorite designs. Another of my favorite female designs, uh, Sophia. And it's sort of like a mohawk, but not really. You know, it's like replacing it with, um, with like buns. Buns going in different directions. Uh, and from the highlights in the hair, you can kind of tell how the, you know, the hair is placed on her head. But it's just one of my, you know, one of my favorite designs. Uh, definitely one of my favorite hair designs. Um, never seen anything like it. Well... Not exactly, but there there are few. You, you, most of these designs, you know, if you've seen them before, it's like they're you know rare. You know, there are a lot of hairstyles that are you know pretty basic, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, this is one of uh, this design. Is, you know, it's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. it has a little curl and the sideburns, and uh, yeah. But when I was designing the character, I was uh, contemplating whether she should have no hair on the sides at all, where she just be like completely bald. And you know, and I just I just decided last second to you know not make it completely bald. Here we have um, after this we would have a character called uh, Jade Hawkins, and if you've if you watched one of my previous videos where I'm designing the character from scratch this is actually you know this is that this is the character this is the for the second one this is the for the second episode this is the character even though if you watch that video to the end this is not the end result at least at least for her her face but this is the end result that will appear in the comic again it's still subject to change so i might even change it again but um this is the end result so far it's what i've decided on so far uh, one side is like completely shaved off, and uh, um, and there's then there's hair on the side, uh, and, and I'm still gonna put the I'm still keeping the the hat. Again, I'll leave a annotation on the uh, on the screen somewhere so you can check out that video. And uh, a couple people left a link to because what I'll be doing is I'll be designing character designs from descriptions that people leave in the comments on that video. And you could also leave some on this video. Uh, I'm still doing that. It's just difficult for me to pick a uh, description because a lot of people left uh, left uh, descriptions for me to pick from, and I will pick and I uh, will pick the best, and I will move. I will move on from there. Uh, just haven't um, gotten. I had. I just haven't picked yet. And uh, when I do, I will have that video. Here we have Florine Mercury, uh, the sister of Neon Mercury. If you follow the comic, you know. Yeah. Enough said. You know, shiny black hair here. Um, again, uh, it's one of those things where in manga you can get away with a bunch of stuff where you have characters with all sorts of uh, hair colors. But, you know, uh, I like to, sometimes I like to keep it, you know, I don't want to suspend too much 
disbelieve. And yeah, you know, I've had a couple characters with black hair. I've seen a lot of, you know, people, especially when you start. And you know, I'm probably guilty of this. You know, when I started, ways you know, you just have a bunch of characters, but everybody's having like different hair colors. But again, you know, most of these designs you can just use them for uh, as reference or you know draw them for practice or do whatever you want you can change the colors of them if you want so it's really up to you i'm just, just kind of i'm just trying to you know give you an idea of where my head was at when i was designing these characters and again black is usually a strong color that helps define the character here we have an old lady granny toonie also characters that, that has debuted one of the characters that debuted a very kind-hearted lady uh so you know very simple hairstyle to just kind of um I mean, just looking at the hairstyle, you can kind of, you can kind of tell you what kind of character she is. One of the cool things, though, is you can kind of have a character with that hairstyle, but you have like a really mean, evil old lady. So sometimes having contrast uh, can, you know, really bring a character to life as well. Here, one of the basic hairstyles again, just brown hair, and uh, this, this is not a bun at the top. It's more, it's a spikier at the top, and I usually put lines the the line strokes in the hair just are there to um indicate the direction of the hair you know and you know since it's all tied tied to the back of her head it's you know the lines would kind of be pointing or be coming from there and that's how is you know it's one of the ways i, I go about drawing hair this so that was me miss kiki and here another character that has not debuted we're going to be seeing a lot of those um here we have now th this hairstyle is actually fun for me to draw us when the hair is like really all over the place. Um, it it kind of reminds me of um, the character from Brave, but not exactly. Uh, the, when, the when I say Brave, Brave the the movie the was a Pixar movie, a Disney movie. Some of you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know. Again, a lot of strokes in the hair, just to indicate the hair, just to indicate the hair itself and the direction it's going and, you know, stuff like that. It's actually fun to draw. Here, uh, one of the popular characters, uh, Lily. Um, and, uh, again, just like Neon's one of the popular characters, I put a, I put a, uh, uh, if I should call that a pin, it's not really a pin, but you now I just put something in the hair just for this video. She doesn't really have it in the comic. Uh, she has it in some some designs, but you know I decided to leave it out of the comic because you know these are characters that you keep drawing over and over and over. So you have to keep in mind that if you know there are things you don't want to draw over and over and over, you kick them out. Uh, but maybe you know in, in some posters and illustrations should probably keep it it's a blonde character very simple hairstyle nothing too fancy as well here we have um helena and a character that's also debuts uh, these are one of the characters that, that have debuted and the, the the way her hair is it's like one side will have more volume than the other and the side that has more volume is the side that she's facing her hair is if i was gonna if i was gonna compare um her hair to anybody else's Let's say in you know anime or manga, I'll say it's sim most similar to say um, Spike from uh, Cowboy Bebop. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're drawing uh, your hairstyles is one of the reasons why when I did the first video, I didn't you know I didn't say oh uh, 20 ways drawing hairstyles for males. You keep in mind that you know most of these hairstyles anybody could wear them, uh, female, male, alien, can, little baby, I don't care. Yeah, you can really go crazy with most of these hairstyles. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can get away with a lot of stuff when designing characters. It doesn't necessarily have to. It's not even like a, a an anime thing. This is like anything. I mean, we'll, we live in a day and age where uh, there was a time where uh, uh, women didn't wear jeans and stuff like that. You know, uh, times have changed. Anybody can wear anything. Um, anything goes, really. And here is a hairstyle that uh, is inspired by another hairstyle that I saw and I decided to try it on this character because this, this is a character, Abigail, that, you know, I've, I, the hair is not decided before this video, I picked this. So this video is not really about the characters, it's about the hair. And um, I decided to just use this for this video, but I haven't really decided on the character. And, you know, this hair might be the final one, but it might not. 
Um, so, and that's that's kind of like a, has the curl thing or uh, the the knots similar to uh, the knots of royalty, but it's kind of like round her head. Uh, but not that she's royalty because it wasn't really a knot. It's just you know it was just going around her head. Here we have another one. It's like a ponytail at the top, but the hair also falls to the bottom. Uh, so another masked character that uh, has the hair is actually white. I was um, just fooling around to see how it would look if if I darkened it, but you know I least I later erase it, and it's just long, you know, long flowing white hair that uh, you know keeps going down, and there's like a bun at the top, and that's you know that's really all it is. And uh, this is twenty as ink. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment telling me what your favorite hairstyle out of the 20 was or your favorite, you know, female character or, you know, favorite hairstyle on a female character in, you know, any manga or anime or TV show, whatever it is. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Please, for, please, it's one of the reasons um, that I made the video. I made another version, the female version of the video because the male version got a lot of likes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, those who have already subscribed, I'd like to thank you guys for your continued support. And, you know, that's it. We good? We good.